This is Dr. Greg Ellis. After the exciting research paper the other day about reversing kidney damage in mites by the use of a low carbohydrate diet, I began to look into other diseases to see what kind of effect a reduction in glucose would have. I found an intriguing set of papers on brain tumors that talked about how cancer tumors respond differently than normal cells. And the author of the paper talks about metabolic control analysis. Very exciting stuff. So what he proposes, because chemotherapy and radiation, which have been the key treatments for brain tumors for the last five decades, are impotent, according to him. They don't work. They compromise life, quality of life. And there is no movement to develop any advanced techniques. He, of course, is doing that. But he understands the differences in the metabolism of tumor cells and normal cells. Well, it turns out that tumor cells need glucose, our old friend glucose. They can't be active metabolically unless they burn glucose. And that's the important aspect of what they do. Whereas normal cells can burn alternative fuels that the tumor cells cannot burn, such as ketone bodies, which I've discussed before, which are a product of fat and are the basis of low-carbohydrate diets. Now, in this research with metabolic control analysis, they created an environment to induce ketosis and reduce the exposure to glucose. But it seems they just are not familiar with the low-carbohydrate diet because they did not use that. They used other manip manipulative techniques to create a situation of ketosis. And they found that they could just totally disrupt these tumor cells, brain cells. So it's likely we have another condition where the appropriate use of this low-carbohydrate diet will reverse tumors. And I'm sure it's not restricted to just the brain, tumors throughout the body. So every day we get more and more information. And I'm struck because I was responding to some of the comments on my YouTube page. I finally figured out how to do that. And I was struck by the number of comments where people were talking about being vegetarians and consuming their grains and fruits and vegetables. And obviously my message about the dangers and hazards of glucose is not making much of an impact on these people. And of course, it's all over my website. It's everything that I talk about. So I think people are just somewhat resistant to that message because they have some belief that there's something nutritious about grains, fruits, and vegetables. And there is nothing. It's a tremendous way to get a lot of glucose in your body. And glucose is the last thing you want floating around. You don't quit worrying about cholesterol. Quit worrying about fat. Start worrying about glucose because all of these diseases are arising from glucose. So that's a message I'm going to keep promoting and try and convince people that they've got to give up their glucose-containing foods and reduce their consumption of glucose. It's just really, really important. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.